In this video, we are going to continue with the gradient of a line segment. You will find this on page 307 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to 6S. Let's look at another example. Find the gradient of the line joining the points P, Q, R, S. Plot the points almost like the previous video. What can you say about these two line segments and their gradients? Okay, so remember the gradient formula. I do substitution, I find negative 4 over 3. I do exactly the same with RS. I'm, I'm substituting and I'm getting positive 3 over 4. Okay, now I plot the points. And what can you see about the points? Do you all see that there is going to be a 90 degree angle. So basically these two lines will be perpendicular. So the two line segments are perpendicular to each other and the gradients are reciprocal fractions with opposite signs. Can you see? So 4 over 3, what will be the reciprocal fraction? 3 over 4. And this one is negative and this one is positive. So opposite signs. So take note, the gradient of a horizontal line is zero, the gradient of a vertical line is undefined. Okay. Um, if we go on, can I maybe just show you why it's undefined? Because if you go and you, it's difference in y over difference in x, and there's no difference in x, so it's almost like you are going to divide by zero, which is undefined. Okay. Where in this one, it's no, so zero can be on top. Okay, and say for example there's 3, then it's defined, but if it's 0 is at the bottom, then it's going to be undefined. So this will just be equal to 0, and this will be undefined. Okay, let's go on. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do try now 8. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. I think we're just going to clean this one first, and just focus on this one. Okay, let's start. Find the gradients of the line joining the points. So, I'm starting. This is my first one. This is E. Negative 4 and negative 2. This is F. 4 and 0. Okay, if I number it, this is X1, Y1. This is X2, Y2. So if I'm going to find the gradient, I'm just going to say y2 minus, always remember the y's is on top, x2 minus x1. So this is going to just be 0 minus, put brackets for the negative, and this is going to be 4 minus negative 4. And then if I'm doing this, I'm going to say, okay, so this is going to be 2 over 8, which is going to be a quarter. And if I go to the next one, okay, it's G, negative 2 and 4, and H, 0 and negative 4. Again, this is X1, this is point 1, and this is point 2. I start again with my formula. It's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And now, in the place of y2, it's negative 4 minus 4 over 0 minus negative 2. And that's going to be negative 8 over 2. Negative and a negative becomes positive, And that's going to be negative 4. And now they say plot the points, and let's see the points. Okay, let's just put a grid. And if I plot the points, okay, we're just going to get our lines. Um, it's negative 4, so I think we have to start here. And what is the highest is also negative 4, so I think we're negative 4 and 4, so it's actually quite a long graph. I have to extend it a little bit. Okay. 
So if I plot the points, let's just go back and just plot that. Negative 4 and negative 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and negative 2. Okay, and then and this is going to be challenging. That's E. And then F is um, 4 and 0. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 0. That's F. That's the line. Okay, and G, I have G. So that's negative 2 and 4. That's going to be, ooh, that's going to be G. And H is 0 and negative 4. Okay, let's just move this apart. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's going to be H. And then I take my ruler and I draw the line. And can you see again, do you see that 90 degree angle? So let's go back to the question. Uh, what can you say about these two lines? Now, if I look, so we can say the two lines, it means are perpendicular to each other. So let's just write here. I'm just going to write. Um, per Perpendicular lines, lines, um, and then you can see why. Do you see that this, the reciprocal of a quarter will be 4, and do you see this is a positive and this is a negative? So we always write it like this. We just say M1 multiply M2 will be equal to negative 1. And, and just this, I'm just showing you to, to prove that statement. Because if you have a quarter and you multiply it by negative 4 over 1 and you cancel, cancel, you are going to get negative 1. That is going to be then the answer.